Great seeing you back for Devos. Okay, all week long, we're talking what does it mean to serve others, which is serving the Lord Jesus Christ. Begin by placing others first every day. If a day goes by and you don't do something good for someone else, it's just been a waste of a day. This is what I want you to practice. If you're doing something here at church or at your job or going to a family function, say to yourself, how can I serve them? How can I be the greatest servant in the room? <laughs> it doesn't sound good, but for real, say, I, I want to be the, the, the best servant. I want to be the one to serve everybody else. I want you to think about that. Look, Galatians chapter 5, verse 13. It says, for you were called uh, to freedom, brothers. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through the love serve one another. Now, notice here, it's talking about more about the law of liberty. So the law of liberty says this. There's a lot of things we can do, and we're not going to get in trouble with God. Like, for example, you can drink. I'm going to tell you that right now. You can drink. Okay, I'm, I don't think God wants you to drink. I mean that. Drinking's not good, and uh, there's problems that come along with that. I know there's some dumb, stupid preachers that drink. I'm laying that one out. I never saw this before. They're like clueless. It's not a good testimony. Now, I'm not here to talk to you about drinking. Now, that's your freedom. You could do that. But don't use your freedom to do what you want to do. Use your freedom to serve other people. So let's say what I'm doing is going to hurt my testimony before other people. Well, I might have the freedom as a Christian to do certain things that within itself it's not a bad thing. But if what I'm doing is going to hurt my brother or sister, a younger Christian, who's trying not to do that because they have problems with it, well, I need to humble myself. Remember, we're to be servants. And so I'm not going to do this over here that might hurt them over there. Okay, but I've, God's given me the freedom. The freedom he's given me, he wants me to serve other people and to put them before myself. Now, the problem we have is human beings, is goat. Goat is that we want to be the greatest of all time. That's why you, uh, all this stuff on Facebook and Instagram and all these selfies, everybody's self-promoting themselves. They want to be the greatest of all times. We want people to only see the best of our lives. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. If you're hurting about something, if you have a disease that one day is going to take your life, if you are mourning over somebody that you have lost, lose yourself in serving other people for the honor and glory of God. It's a great way to heal. God will bless you doing that. Look at your schedule. Are you doing too much? Allow him to free up your time. Okay, I am guilty of this right here. And I all the time say, oh God, I gotta make more time. I need to make more time. I need to make more time to help other people, to go beyond being my, you know, there's pastors and they do their job as a pastor but they're kind of forcing themselves to do the serving they have to do <laughs> nobody wants to admit this but all of us fall into that you know you, you kind of fake the job you're at a job you have to serve people you put a smile on your face you don't want to do it well <clears throat> in a ministry we could do that too so I always try to go far beyond my ministry work so I know that I'm really doing this from my heart and, but we have to make time in our schedules to be able to do that. Matthew 20, 26. Uh, it shall not be among you that whoever would be great among you must be your servant. You see that? Okay, the heroes are the servants. And whoever would be first among you must be your slave. I like it. A slave. So become a slave to people. I know some of you don't like hearing that. Even as the son of man came not to be a servant, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. So Jesus became a slave to us and he died for us and gave his life away. Listen, when you serve others, you are serving Jesus Christ. So tell God you want to serve him today. Ask him to make it real in your heart. 
that you want to serve others for his honor and his glory.